Hey everybody, so today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be my updated skincare routine slash how I cleared up my skin. Before I jump in, I want to give you a little background history on my skin so you know that I haven't had perfect skin, which a lot of you think that I've had forever, and that is not the case at all. I did not have very good skin. I think I started getting bad skin around junior year in high school so it's pretty average a lot of people start breaking out uh, because of hormones and stuff in high school so freshman year and sophomore year I think my skin was pretty okay and then junior year it was just like psh, and I just got a million breakouts and then my bad skin lasted until now so I'm 20 now and a junior in high school is like 16 17 so I've had bad skin and the reason I put bad in quotations is because to some people it might not be horrible and and I'm aware that it's not the worst skin in the world and there's a lot of people that have way worse but to me it was bad because I've had clear skin you know the first couple years of high school and all through middle school you know I never had bad skin until you know the end of high school so. so it's bad to me but I know it's not the worst skin ever so I've had it about three to four years and another thing about my skin is that it always fluctuated it was never you know horrible constantly you know it wasn't you know disgusting breakouts all over my face for a constant three years every couple of months it would get really good and then it would just go back to being bad so for my skin it would really just go up and down one month it would be really really bad and then one month it would be relatively clear so with that being said I will show you a picture from December of 2012 so you can kind of see the severity and you know kind of the condition of my skin in that time so that's what you're looking at now on the left was obviously with no makeup and then the right I was kind of comparing you know the mask magic works of makeup. So that was pretty much the state of my skin. Like that's the skin I knew when I took my makeup off. That's usually how it looked. I had a lot of scarring because I don't know about you guys, but I am a picker. I will pop any zit that is on my face no matter what it looks like. I'm just one of those people that I I will literally sit there for an hour and just get everything off my face. That's just it's a horrible habit. I know I shouldn't do it, but I do. I know it's bad. I don't recommend you guys doing it, but I am guilty of it and I've definitely cut back a lot on how much or what I allow myself to mess with on my face and I think that did contribute a little bit to the fact that my skin is cleared up. So that was pretty much the condition of my skin for the last three years. It's again it's not the worst skin in the world but it was not clear and it was not perfect and I was still insecure about it when I took my makeup off. And apart from all the little smaller breakouts I did get the cystic acne which are the really big swollen ones that are under the skin and they don't really come to the surface they just swell up and they hurt and they're painful. And I would get one of those like every month I would say. They didn't pop up all over my face but I would get one or two and those were just really annoying. But I have not gotten a cystic acne bump on my face in probably four months. So for me that's like really awesome. My skin has been doing a lot better, better than it ever has. It feels better, it looks better, it's finally clear. Not perfectly clear because who the hell is perfect but it is the best it's been in years. So I'm so happy and I really wanted to share my tips and my products and kind of what I've been doing. So like I did with my last skincare routine, which I updated last in January of 2013. So it's been over a year since I've updated my skincare routine, and I really liked the idea of that video that I wasn't wearing any makeup in that video, so I decided not to wear any makeup now just so you can actually see my skin. Because if I'm talking about skincare and I have it completely covered up with makeup, then you don't really know how clear my skin actually is. So this is my face with absolutely no makeup on. I have absolutely nothing on. So this is my skin. It's not perfect clear I'm aware of that but you know it's it's clear to me I'm happy with this but I also wanted to mention before I kind of dive into everything that this is not a video on I found miracle products that cured my acne this is not that at all although I will say that the products that I'm using are great right now and I do think that they contribute to my clear skin I'm not going to give them full credit because I've used some of these products when I had acne and I'm not going to say that all all these products in combination with each other have cleared up my face. It is like 50% the products and 50% my lifestyle change and what I've done differently to improve my skin. This is not just about products. So I just want to throw that out there that just because you go and buy these things and you're still doing your bad habits, your skin is not going to clear up. So to get this video started, I'm going to give you my three tips or kind of the three changes that I've made in my skincare routine that I believe have completely changed my skin. So the first one 
is something that I started doing probably about six months ago, but I've really seen a change recently in it because I feel like I'm doing it the right way now, is when I wash my face, I wash it twice. Now you probably already know this if you watch my nighttime routine because a lot of the things that I'll be talking about in my skincare routine have been either mentioned in that video or I've kind of demoed it in that video. So just keep that in mind that this may be a little repetitive if you've seen my nighttime routine, but it's still important and it's things that I've changed. So first one is washing my face twice. And this is only if I have makeup on my face. So if I have a full face of makeup and I go to wash my face at night, I will first wash my face with a cleanser that has makeup remover in it or even just a light cleanser and I'm going to scrub all the makeup off. And then once that's done, that's where most people stop and go to bed and that is wrong. You cannot do that. Your face is not completely clean and there are probably a lot of traces of makeup and dirt and oil still in your pores, especially if you're only using your hands. If that is all you're doing to clean your face at night, you're not cleaning it properly. So after I use the first cleanser and I get my makeup off, I will then go in with a second cleanser. And I will go into products later, but the second cleanser has an actual acne medication in it. You know, something like the salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. One of those two, which is really good for fighting acne if you have acne prone skin. Maybe you don't need to use this if you don't have acne prone skin, but it's still good to just keep it away because everyone breaks out. So that is when I will use my heavier acne medicated uh, cleanser to completely clean my face and I don't just use my hands again I actually go in with a spin brush or something similar to the Clarisonic I know you've probably heard a lot of hype about the Clarisonic and a lot of people really like it or really hate it and that's the thing it is very conditional like it's not for everybody so I'm not going to recommend it for every kind of skin type but for me I never knew until I tried so it may not work for you but I think if you give it a shot it could transform your skin like it did mine after I started using a spin brush or some kind of heavier cleaning mechanism, my skin, it felt better. The texture, like the elasticity, <laughs> I can't say that word. Just everything about my skin felt more alive and fresh and it just felt amazing. It was so soft and smooth and it made my makeup glide on way better. So I really do recommend a spin brush or some kind of brush instead of just using your hands to wipe off. So at least give one a try. I know they can be pricey, but if you hate it, you can always take it back. So this is my first tip and I think one of the most important for changing my skin and how my skin has evolved into what it is now because before I would only wash my face once and yeah I may have removed most of the makeup but I wasn't actually deep cleaning my skin which was the problem. So second tip, I know you've heard it a billion times but you cannot sleep in your makeup. I was absolutely horrible with this. I was so lazy at night. The last thing that I wanted to do was sit in the bathroom for 20 minutes scrubbing my face clean. I always just thought to myself, eh, it can't hurt that bad, you know? I'll just wash it off in the morning, it's the same thing. But no, I'm promising you, if you completely wash your face off at night before you go to sleep, your skin will improve. At least mine did drastically. Sleeping in your face makeup at night is really damaging because your skin while you're sleeping is trying to renew itself naturally and when you have a makeup on top that's what causes the blackheads and all the acne and your skin to look dull. So it's really really important to be going to sleep with a clear face and not just a clear face but clear eyes too. A lot of people just throw makeup remover wipes by their bed and just kind of wipe their face off and then they're good to go and that's not enough. It's better than absolutely nothing but if you want to see results you better get your butt into the bathroom and take all of that stuff off and not just your face makeup your eye makeup too because when you don't remove that mascara and eyeliner all of that makeup can clog up the little tiny hair follicles and oil glands on your eyelids and that's gonna cause inflammation which leads to those annoying little bumps called styes we all know the skin around our eyes is very delicate and sensitive so we don't really want makeup sitting on top of it while our skin and our cells are trying to renew themselves because as you can guess that's also going to lead to aging and who wants to age, right? So my third and final tip or something that I've done differently than I ever did before is really getting in the habit and the routine of incorporating a face mask into my routine every single week. Now face masks aren't going to like completely cure your acne, but they will maintain uh, clear skin. Like I'm not saying that face masks have cleared my skin at all, but when I do have a breakout coming, I will throw a mask on and it's usually gone. It really just helps to maintain that clear skin. So what's really cool about face masks 
masks or whichever one that you decide to get. They usually have multiple skincare benefits in just one thing. So I think before you go and pick out a skin or a face mask, you really need to identify what your skin needs. Because some masks are designed to moisturize, some are to de detoxify, some are to get rid of blackheads. But before you go and buy it, you need to recognize is your skin, what's your skin's weakness? Is it way too oily? Is it really too dry? Is it acne prone? Is it aging? And then after you can identify that, then you can go and pick out a mask that is going to fulfill those needs. So for me, the one that I love most is a mint mask. I deal with small breakouts, so when I know that one is coming or I already have one, I will reach for my mask. And what that really does is the peppermint inside of it really reaches deep down and cleans out that dirt from the pore. And it also helps to kind of dry out an already active pimple, and so it helps it go away. So that's kind of how I maintain it, and I just think that masks are so pampering and fun. And like I said, if you don't ever try one, you'll never know how it can help your skin. So that was the first 50% of why my skin is clear, is because I've really changed and stepped up my game and my skincare routine. I never go to sleep with makeup on. I make sure my skin is completely clean before I go anywhere, before I go to sleep, before I put makeup on. And that seems like such a small thing, but it has drastically changed my skin, I'm telling you. So now on to the other 50%, which is the products, which is probably what you guys are most interested in. So I will start from the very beginning of my skincare routine all the way till I guess I go to sleep, um, or just, you know, all the products that I use basically on my face. So the first one is my cleanser. So you've probably seen me use this a bunch because I've been using it for over a year now. I absolutely love this product for removing my face makeup. So it is the Neutrogena Naturals, which has no harsh chemicals, no sulfates, parabens, dyes, all that bad stuff is out of this product, so it's really good for my skin. And what I really love about this cleanser is it's not like a really heavy acne medicated cleanser. It's basically just a fresh cleansing. It's something light and and that will do the job and it also has makeup remover in it so that makes makeup removing totally easy my face makeup comes off in just you know one little wash of this stuff so this is what I use to take off just my face makeup and I love it and I would definitely repurchase this So for my second wash, like I mentioned earlier, I go in with my Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. And I feel like this is just a great second cleansing gel just because after I use it, I really feel like my skin is clean. It says that it's designed to thoroughly remove excess oils and impurities without drying the skin. So that's good. It's not super heavy that I'm going to be feeling super dry after I use it. So this is just what I've been using. I'm sure another product in place of this would work just as well. Any kind of cleanser that has an acne medication in it. I'm not sure if this one does, but it does the job and I've just really been loving this. And after I have that on my skin, I will go ahead and scrub my skin with my Vitagood Spin Brush, which is my baby. I love this thing so much. I don't really know if it's similar to the Clarisonic. It's probably not as great just because the, the brush head is a little bit smaller and probably more dense than the little Clarisonic one. And I know the Clarisonic doesn't spin. It kind of just like vibrates. So I don't really know which one is better. I'm sure they both work awesome, but this one's worked wonders on my skin. So I'm not sure if you have to have a Clarisonic. Uh, this has worked for me, but I really really owe a lot of my the firmness of my skin and the texture difference I owe that to this so this is my third cleanser that I didn't really mention that I had a third cleanser and you guys are probably thinking oh my god That's so many cleansers so many products on your face, but it's all worked for me. My skin has improved a lot, so I'm not going to knock it down. It may be a lot of products, but it's working for me, so it may not work for you, but this is just what I've been doing to clear my skin up. So this is just my morning cleanser. It says it wakes you up, cleans deep for visibly he healthier skin, and it's a detoxifying cleanser. They have a bunch of these ones. So this is basically just what I use every morning to kind of revive my skin and maybe wash up anything that has collected on my skin from the night, maybe some bacteria from my pillow or something like that. Um, this is just really light. I don't really feel like it does much, but I really enjoy it because it makes my skin feel really refreshed and I do feel more awake after I use it. So I just thought I'd add this in here because I don't use those two in the morning, only this one. So after my skin is all clean, it is time to tone because after you scrub your face so much, the pH can kind of go off in your skin and you really need to balance that or kind of correct it with a toner. So I've been using my Holy Grail toner. I love this stuff so much. It's very cheap, but it works. It is Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel. And on the back, it says that it refines pores, removes and controls oil, it soothes irritation, and it locks in moisture. So I use this toner before I apply 
apply makeup like I'll wash my face I'll get a cotton swab and I'll put this all over my face and then I will moisturize and then apply my makeup but I also use this at nighttime after I cleansed I will put um, a layer of this on as well and I don't know why I like this stuff so much it doesn't have a pleasant scent or anything but I just feel like this is so refreshing and it's light it's not a toner that's gonna feel like you dumped a bottle of alcohol on your face it doesn't really sting that bad and I just love it I think it is the perfect everyday kind of toner it is 100% natural and it gently cleanses and conditions pores to maintain clear smooth and balanced skin so I definitely love this stuff uh, this is my second bottle I went through one in like a couple of months uh, this is a must-have for me so now we're at our third step in our routine and that is moisturizing so I have been using the simple moisturizer the light hydrating uh, one for probably almost two years now this is my holy grail moisturizer for before I put makeup on it's so light I can literally take like this much of this stuff and just slather it all over my face which is usually what I do I kind of go overboard on moisturizer just because I love the way my skin feels when it's super moisturized and this is the kind that's not going to make it feel like there's a ton of product on your face it really sinks into the skin like my skin just drinks it up and there's not that greasy feeling it just it just feels perfect on the skin it's like the perfect moisturizer right before makeup application because I hate when you can kind of feel your moisturizer sitting on your skin right before you put a foundation on it doesn't feel good and this one definitely doesn't do that it doesn't leave any kind of residue on my face it just creates the perfect smooth moisturized canvas for my makeup and I also use the SPF one in the summer so for my moisturizer at nighttime I am using using the purity or not purity a philosophy hope in a jar I absolutely love this moisturizer I mentioned it in a video and I'm almost out of it which is sad because this is a sample size because I didn't know if I was gonna like it this is when I just tried it but I love this stuff it does not have a pleasant smell at all it smells like a wet dog honestly but I can get over that because my skin always just feels perfectly moisturized after and I put this on at night and in the morning I never have any dry patches or anything like that my skin just looks looks rejuvenated and fresh and smooth. I was using the Lumine, Lumen Vitamin C Pure Radiance uh, Lotion or Moisturizer, which I really, really liked this one too. I felt it was a bit heavier, but I still really enjoyed this one. I've just switched over to the Hope in a Jar one, and I do prefer this one. So that's what I've been using recently, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick up a big, uh, like a big jar of this. I know it's expensive, but for a good moisturizer, I'm willing to invest. So after my face is all moisturized, I will go in with my eye cream and I use the Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Eye Firming Treatment and it's in this cute little bottle and it has a little pump and it smells really really good and I just kind of take the smallest amount and just dab it around my eye area just to make sure that I'm preventing wrinkles. I know I'm young but they're coming. They will come for you so I just use this maybe not every night but I use it about like two or three times a week I probably should use it every night but sometimes I just can't be bothered using it is that even a phrase in America can't be bothered <laughs> I listen to too many New Zealand uh, youtubers <laughs> so once everything is on my face I like to go in with this if I have any trouble spots this is clean and clear Persa gel 10 it's 10% benzoyl peroxide acne medication and it's maximum strength I really do like this stuff I've never been a fan of spot treatment kind of acne medications I never thought they worked but this one can really kill a pimple overnight I pop this on pimples that are red and active and inflamed and I really feel like after two or three days this zaps it right off I've tried a couple other ones and they've never really done much for me but I love this one even my sister likes this one she's tried it on a bunch of her like she has a lot worse skin than I do and she said that she's seen this work on her bigger you know more swollen under the skin kind of giant pimples and she said that it got rid of them so maybe if you have that kind of acne the ones that are really cystic and big give this a try because it is maximum strength and it's 10% benzoyl peroxide I, I prefer the benzoyl peroxide over the salicylic acid just because I feel like it works better on my skin I think it just depends on what your skin is and if your skin reacts better to salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide for me personally and for my sister I think we prefer the benzoyl peroxide medication so this is what I use I barely ever use this only when I have something that's really really infected or irritated 
Okay, last but not least, my favorite, favorite products are my face masks. I've just been really into face masks lately. I just love them. I really, really want to try Glam Glow, but it is so expensive, so I don't know if I can get myself to spend that much on a mask. But the one that I've been head over heels in love with, I got it for Christmas, is the Lush Mask of Magnamenti. It is a peppermint mask. It has a lot of other things. Scrubby adzuki beans for deeply cleansed skin. So it's an exfoliator and kind of a mask in one. This is awesome. Honestly, I had one of those huge under the skin ones right here. Kind of like where I have that spot right now. And it was it was big and swollen and it was I knew it was about to come to the skin. And I put this mask on like right when I saw it. And the next morning it was flat. And that has never happened to me ever in my life. I have never had like one of those big under the skin pimples not come to the surface. They've always come to the surface and I've always popped them at one point or another. And this completely like zapped it. And I was like, what? And this just makes my skin feel so amazing and soft. And it makes you look like Shrek, but it is really, really cool. So this is what it looks like. It's all like green and gritty, but it is a lot of fun. And... It smells like peppermint, <laughs> it just smells like candy or something. But this has so much good stuff in it and it's all natural because it's from Lush. So if you don't have a good face mask and you kind of have, have skin similar to mine where it's acne prone, um, I would give this a shot because this has been awesome. This has really maintained my clear skin. If I ever do feel something coming, I pop this on. I use this probably two or three times a week. You're only supposed to use it once a week, but I love it that much that I kind of use it overboard and it just gets rid of everything. I love it. And also for masks, I love the Freeman, what are these called? Feeling Beautiful Facial Masks. I have the Clay Mint and Lemon one, and I have the Anti-Stress Dead Sea Minerals one. Not sure which one I prefer. I've used this one a lot more than this one. This one's fairly new. But this one is supposed to clear breakouts and minimize the appearance of pores. And this one purifies and clears pores. So I don't really know if these work that amazingly. I don't think they're at the status of the Lush one. I definitely prefer that one over these. Because these are more of a cream mask. And the, that one is more of like a... It has a lot of texture to it, but the idea is the same, you know, they're kind of a once a week treatment just to up your skincare routine and give your face a little boost of love. So that is the end of my skincare routine. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this and found it helpful and informative. I know it was really long. I'm sorry. I can talk forever and I'm trying to get better at that. But I just had so many products and so much stuff to say about my skin because it wasn't a one-step process and boom, clear skin, you know. But I really do hope you take some things into consideration and may try to either try some products or try some of my tips in the first half of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.